Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, you found Hassled by the Man. I'm Otto, and today we're going to my buddy's gun shop, Tactical Advantage. His name's Craig, he owns it. But more specifically, there's a young guy that works there, and his name's Greg. And he's got some background in AR manufacturing. I think he worked for maybe a manufacturer, something like that. Let me start this, 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 this video this way. I'm older and I don't have the strength I used to have and I have a really nice AR, it's a SIG, it's a 516. I love that rifle and uh, it's got aim point optics on it and it's just, it's a, it's a great rifle. Uh, very accurate and I love it. Now, having said that, I'm older and I don't have the strength I used to have and it is a heavy rifle. And it is, it is a lot for me to work with that gun. When I say work with it, I mean move around, shoot it, shoot it while you're moving. And, you know, use it like you'd have to use it if you really, something bad were happening and you had to protect yourself. That's how I like to practice and it just wears me out. I mean, it's just heavy. So, one day I'm up in at Craig's Gun Shop and there's the coolest looking little AR there and I pick it up and it weighs like a feather. And so what I found out about it is that it's it's a, it's an SBR, but it's not an SBR because it has a brace on it, but the brace is telescoping. So I'm gonna screw this up. So that's why we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna introduce you to Craig, uh, his store, and Greg's gonna explain this build because this rifle is very, very cool. It is so lightweight, super accurate. We're gonna get it out to the range uh, here soon. We're not doing it today because it is 42 degrees with a sustained 20 mile an hour north wind, and it's kind of raining. So that's not gonna to happen today, but we're almost there, so stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going on? Good. Good, good. good. We're here, guys. Look at this crusty guy. What are you doing? Oh, just looking at gun prices, see what I can get in and afford and what I can't. All right, well, this is Craig. He owns the place. ID. This is young Greg here on the right. How's it going? Older Adrian over here on the left. And this, guys, is this build that I was telling you about. And Greg is going to give you the rundown because I don't know what I'm talking about, but I tried to explain it. But it is a great, lightweight what I would call a working AR. This is something that you can defend yourself with, defend your home. Uh, it is a working rifle. So, Greg, tell us what this thing's about. All right, guys, so this is called the TAPDW. TA stands for Tactical Advantage, name of our company. PDW stands for Personal Defense Weapon. Uh, legally, this is a pistol, and I'll explain why. Um, so starting at the back of the, of the weapon here, we've got an SB Tactical Brace. Uh, this is what denotes the AR-15 pistol build right here. This brace is rubber. It's got a little Velcro strap. It's intended to attach to your forearm. Um, with that being said, it is perfectly legal to shoulder, um, but it's not technically a stock. And a lot of times we catch ourselves calling it a stock, but it's not. So you don't um, need that, what is it, stamp? You don't need a tax stamp. You don't need an SBR or anything. This is kind of... I wouldn't call it a loophole necessarily, but it's close to one. Close. Basically with this one, the SB Tactical Brace is kind of neat because it's collapsible. So you've got multi-position. This one has three different positions so you can get your length of pull correct for you. Uh, super comfortable to shoot. And then the fact that it's adjustable makes it just a little bit shorter than a standard buffer tube you know, with a, with a collapsible stock on it. And I'll, I'll kind of go into why that's important here in a moment. Um, I'm just gonna go you know, back to front here. So moving up, um, this particular one has a Spikes Tactical nickel boron uh, lower parts kit in it. So the, the trigger and hammer nickel boron makes for a nice slick trigger break, even though it's still around five and a half to six pounds. So it's still a GI trigger weight. Um, this one has an ambidextrous safety on it. This is actually the owner's iteration of the TA PDW and he's a lefty, he's wrong handed. So we've got all these left handed controls for him on here. Um, we've got an Ergo uh, Deluxe Grip on here. It's kind of rubbery. It's not quite as rubbery as like the Hogue Grips out there, but it's still super comfortable. Generally when we build these, we use a nickel boron bolt carrier group. This one though is black nitride. Uh, the bolt is 9310 steel. The carrier is 8620. Uh, these are bomb proof. They're relatively easy to clean as well. The charging handle it comes with is the BCM Gunfighter. This is our Mod 4. 
you look at it, it has the medium latch on it. We like the medium latch because it's really easy to cycle still, but it's not extremely long and it, it doesn't poke you or anything like that if you're, if you're slinging the, the weapon or anything. Uh, this one in particular has a Trujicon MRO on it with a Geisley mount. This is not included with the build. We can get these for you, but uh, it doesn't come in the come with the the you know the base price. Moving up, you have the Geisley Mark 8. This is an M-Lock rail system, so any of your M-Lock accessories will fit on here. Uh, we really like this rail because it has a two and a quarter inch barrel nut, which makes the rail extremely rigid. Uh, you know, a lot of manufacturers these days, I, I'm not going to name them, but a lot of these guys are using little one inch long barrel nuts on here and, you know, it doesn't make a rigid system. You can get some flex on it when you go to push on the rail between the barrel. Um, that can result in some drooping or sagging. Um, you know, if you put an IR laser on here or a larger flashlight, and the, the last thing you want is this rail to be sagging down on the on the front of your barrel and possibly removing some of the the free float properties from the build um, on here you've got the geisley stainless gas block that comes with the rail so we use it in the build as well um, that is attached to a ballistic advantage 10 and a half inch barrel uh, this one is a melanited barrel so there's no chrome lining or anything like that to deteriorate accuracy Generally, these barrels, the, the, any of the QPQ or nitride barrels, last about 15,000 rounds, I, I want to say, um, compared to chrome lining, which is about 20,000 rounds. Um, with that being said, though, the accuracy gain is paramount. You know, I've, I've shot my personal TAPDW at a 12-inch gong at 300 yards, and it's repeatedly accurate. You know, with the right ammo, this thing is a, is a tack driver. It's no precision rifle, but a lot of people underestimate what these 10.5-inch barrels will do. Moving up to the front, we sell these with a, uh, this is the Surefire War Comp. This one's a little dirty because we've been shooting it with the Warden and with a suppressor, so it's got a little carbon buildup on there. Basically, the War Comp is a cross between a flash hider and a muzzle brake. Uh, essentially, what you do is you time this depending on what hand of shooter you are. If you're a lefty, it's timed similar to this. If you're a righty, you rotate the holes around. Um, makes it kind of handy because basically these side brake port holes will actually mitigate recoil in the direction that you're shooting. Um, the warden on here, this is kind of a, a little cool guy part. Um, we like it because essentially what you do is you attach this to any surefire muzzle brake and it locks in place the same way as the suppressor does and it blows all the blast out the front of it. So, you know, if you're shooting indoors at an indoor range or, you know, using it in home defense or something like that, it puts all the blast out the front and it, it really will, will kind of save your bacon in regards to uh, hearing damage. Plus, um, it, plus it's cool. Absolutely. It looks like a miniature suppressor. Yeah, it does. It's cool. It does, yeah. It's real cool. Um, basically, the accessories we got on this rail, we've got a, um, let's see, it's a Streamlight Protac 1L. Um, this light's kind of cool. It's 300 lumens, 300 or 350, I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, it will run off of a single 123A or a double A with no conversion. So you can kind of throw whatever batteries you've got in your pockets into this thing and it'll run. It also comes out of the box with either a clicky tail cap or the pressure switch that you can see there. It comes with little rail grabbers and zip ties to mount it securely to the rail. Uh, it's got a little constant on, on there as well, which is kind of neat. This side, you've got your Thenar device. We also carry these in-house. Uh, basically, a Thenar device is a hand stop. It's not a traditional hand stop, though. A lot of people think hand stops are for mitigating recoil. Um, this hand stop is for keeping your hand going to the, uh, the hot part of the rifle. Uh, so essentially, it helps you index your hand at the same point every single time you grab that rail. Uh, keeps you from touching a hot suppressor, keeps you from touching the, the muzzle device, all that good stuff. They're super comfy. Um, I've got these options for M-Lock, Key Mod, Picatinny Rail, you name it, we, we've got it. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, the cool part about this thing too, which I haven't shown you yet, is that... I like surprises. Oh yeah. It fits fully loaded in this uh, big tennis racket bag. This is not actually a tennis racket bag, it looks like one. Um, basically what it is, it's got dividers in here, you see we've got a mag. Um, this will fit loaded with a 20 round magazine right down in here. Zip it up and nobody knows the better that you're, you know, carrying a firearm to and from the range or, or what have you. What's this way? What do you think? 
fully loaded with with the light and the optic yeah. on it it's probably closer to to nine and a half or so i want to say i mean it's it's not necessarily ultra lightweight with the optic and you know all that on there and this isn't necessarily the lightest rail on the market but it's one of the most rigid you know heavy use designed rails out there and that, that's right. kind of what we're going for well right. guys i'll tell you what um, like I told you before, you know, I'm getting old and I don't have the strength I used to have. And that SIG I have, I love that rifle, but it is so heavy. Matter of fact, I brought it in here and these guys were, you know, sharing it with each other going, God, look how heavy this gun is. Very heavy. I picked this up and it is excellent. I mean, it is a, it's a working rifle. I mean, you will not wear out with this rifle. It's extremely accurate. We're going to borrow this one. We're going to take it to the range. We're going to, we're going to, test it out and see how it actually runs outside when the weather gets a little better. But uh, Greg, thanks buddy. Anytime. I appreciate it. Anytime. That's the uh, end of this one today, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm going to put the information in the description down below on Tactical Advantage. Uh, what does that retail for? This one is right at $1,350. We can add all these options and come up with a custom quote for you if need okay. be, too. Cool. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'll put all that good stuff down in the description below. Uh, thanks, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the channel and you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. And um, uh, you can also check it, uh, Hassle by the Man out, on Instagram, which uh, I'm learning how to do all that cool stuff, too. So uh, I'll see you guys around, man. Take care. What's that guy know?